Hi, the goal of this lesson is to teach you negative exponents, and you must already understand positive exponents. So what is a positive exponent? Right? It represents repeated multiplication. So for example, five to the fourth means we are multiplying by five four times. And remember, there's always an invisible times one here. Okay? So in other words, a positive exponent means we are multiplying by the base. We care about negative exponents. Well, what does negative mean? In math, negative just means the opposite. Okay? So therefore, a negative exponent means we are repeatedly dividing by the base. For example, n to the negative fourth means we are dividing by n four times. For example, 8 to the positive third power means we are multiplying by 8 three times. And n, I'm sorry, 8 to the negative third power means we're dividing by 8 three times. Okay. So you should know this means times 5 times 5, right? This means, I'm sorry, and there's always an invisible times 1 here. This means times 5 just once. I'll come back to this here. Now, this is the opposite of this. Instead of multiplying by 5 one time, we are dividing by 5 one time. This is the opposite of this. We are dividing by 5 two times. Okay. Now, what about 5 to the power 0? Uh, what does that equal? Uh, well, again, positive exponents mean we multiply by the base, and negative exponents mean we divide. The number 0 is neither positive nor negative, so we're neither multiplying nor dividing by the base. It's just 1. Now, this confuses a lot of students. They think it should be 0. So let me explain this in a different way. Okay. As we go one space to the right, right, we are multiplying by 5. So 1 fifth times 5 is 1, not 0. In general, when we increase the exponent by 1, that means we are multiplying by the base. Okay. Likewise, as we go to the left here, we are dividing by 5. So 25 divided by 5, 5 divided by 5, and that's 1, not 0. Again, uh, decreasing the exponent represents dividing by that base. So again, 5 divided by 5 is 1, not 0. Okay. So in summary, positive exponents and negative exponents are opposites. Likewise, multiplication and division are opposites. The number 0 is neither, so we're neither multiplying nor dividing. Okay. Another example. A positive 2 means we're multiplying by the base two times. Positive 1 means we're multiplying by the base one time. I'll come back to this. This is the opposite. We're dividing by the base one time. And we're dividing by the base two times. Again here, 0 is neither positive nor negative. So we're neither multiplying nor dividing. It's just 1. And again, it fits this pattern. As we go to the right, we're multiplying by 4. And as we go to the left, we are dividing by 4. Right? 4 divided by 4 is 1, not 0. Okay? And I should point out here that all of these answers are positive. Right? The negative exponent just means we're dividing, not that the answer is negative. Okay? So for example here, the answer is negative even though the exponent is positive. Right, that's because we're multiplying a negative base an odd number of times. Here, the answer is negative, I'm sorry, the answer is positive, even though the exponent is negative. Again, this just means that we are dividing, not that the answer is necessarily negative. Okay, so more practice. What do these mean? Well, we are dividing by the base four times. We are dividing by the base five times. And here, we're neither multiplying nor dividing by the base. So it's just 1. Okay, what does this mean? Positive 2, we're multiplying by A two times. We're dividing by B three times. And for C, we're neither multiplying nor dividing. So that's just 1. Okay, how can we write this in a shorter way? We use exponents. So here, we are repeatedly multiplying. So that's a positive exponent. Here, we're dividing by 7 three times, so that's a negative exponent. Okay, so in conclusion, very simply, a positive exponent means we multiply. 
A negative exponent means we do the opposite, we divide. And an exponent of zero means we uh, neither multiply nor divide, it's just one. Okay. So that's the end of part one, the very basics. Uh, keep watching uh, for more advanced practice. Thank you. All right, if you understand the basics, I'm now going to go over some more advanced practice like this. Okay. So how can we write these in a shorter, simpler way? Well, we're dividing by eight four times, so that's a negative exponent. Uh, we're multiplying by a three times, that's a positive three and dividing by b five times, so that's a negative five. Well, um, anything divided by itself is one. Uh, using exponents, it's five to the third over five to the third. And when these fives cancel, we have no more fives being multiplied or divided. So remember, uh, five to the zero equals one, not zero. Same idea, anything divided by itself is one, uh, when the c's cancel, we have c to the power 0, which is 1. Okay. These may look the same, but they're actually um, very different. Here the base is 3x. What that means is both 3 and x are being divided by, um, are being divided 4 times. So 3 to the 4th is 81, and x to the 4th is just x to the 4th. Here, only x is being divided 4 times. So first we do exponents, and then last we multiply by three. Okay, and so these are very different answers here. Okay, now this may look strange because now the negative exponent is in the denominator, but we treat it the same. Uh, what does this mean, right? We're dividing by five two times. Now, you need to already know that when we divide by a fraction, that's the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. So the answer here is just positive 5 squared, or 25. Uh, the point here is that these are opposites. Okay, so following the same process, in the denominator, we are dividing by n 7 times. Dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. So this simplifies to n to the 7th, the opposite exponent. So using um, that same process, uh, we can write 8 to the positive ninth, right? b to the positive third, 7 to the negative fourth. Again, this just means we're dividing by the base four times, and a to the negative fifth. Okay? So in general, then, we can rewrite a power as its reciprocal, but to the opposite exponent. These are stating the same thing. Uh, don't be confused. Uh, n and negative n are just opposites. So whatever number this is, this is the opposite, and whatever number this is, this is the opposite. But these are the same thing. Okay. So applying that rule, we can rewrite this as 1 over a to the fourth, and this is already 1 over b to the negative six. So we can rewrite it as its reciprocal, but to the positive, I'm sorry, to the opposite exponent. This is already positive, so 1 over f to the negative fifth can be written as f to the positive fifth. This is fine. This is 1 over c cubed. Again, we are dividing by c three times. Okay. There's a few different ways to do this one. Uh, one way is to recognize that this is the same as the numerator to the negative fifth power over the denominator to the negative fifth power. And just like before, we use our rule, we can rewrite these with the opposite exponent. So opposite and opposite. Okay. Or we can recognize that this just means we are dividing by the base five times. So dividing five times. x to the fifth over y to the fifth. Again, dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. Hopefully you learned uh, with positive exponents that when we multiply powers with the same base, we add their exponents. And this should be very obvious. Uh, here we're multiplying by 5 two times. We're multiplying by 5 four times. So total, we're multiplying by 5 six times. That should make a lot of sense. Okay? Is that true for negative exponents? Uh, yes. 
we're dividing by five two times, and we're dividing by five four times, so total we're dividing by five six times. That makes sense. And we can see this by rewriting them using positive exponents. And remember that when we multiply fractions, we multiply straight across. Okay. So again, using our rule, negative 3 plus negative 6 is negative 9. That makes sense, right? Total, we're dividing by 9, I'm sorry, dividing by n 9 times. Okay. What about for an exponent of 0? Do we still add? Yes. 0 plus a negative 2 is negative 2. This makes sense, right? This is 1. And anything times 1 is itself. Okay. Hopefully you've learned also that when we divide powers with the same base, we subtract the bottom exponent. Again, this is very obvious. If we have 5x's here in the numerator and 2x's cancel, 5x, I'm sorry, 5 minus 2 is 3. That's pretty obvious. Um, what's not obvious is when we have negative exponents. Um, do we still subtract? Uh, yes. So let's see why that is. Um, well, what does this mean? This means we're dividing by x five times in the numerator, and we're dividing by x two times in the denominator. Remember that dividing by a fraction is the same thing as multiplying by its reciprocal. So now we have positive exponents, which are more familiar, and we know that we subtract. Two minus five is negative three. Another example, again, it's not so obvious that we still subtract, um, and we do. Uh, negative 2 minus 3 is negative 5. Okay. What does this mean? Well, it means we're dividing by a two times. So we're dividing by a two times, then dividing by a three more times. So total, we're dividing by a five times. Okay, do we still subtract? Yes. 3 minus a negative 4 is the same as 3 plus 4, uh, or 7. Right? What does this mean in the denominator? Well, we're dividing by n four times. Again, dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. So 3n's and 4n's being multiplied is 7n's. Okay, what about for 0? 0 minus 3 is negative 3. And this is true because d to the 0 is just 1. So dividing by d three times, that's a negative exponent. So the point of all that was that uh, these rules are true, whether the exponents are positive, negative, or 0. Um, that's all. I hope that helped.